The way that Google started was an academic venture. How do you find interesting problems in the world? Google depends on academia. So many of the good ideas that we've brought forward to the world come from academia. One of the real reasons to engage with academia is to get a really fresh perspective. We empower academics to work on real problems and in the other direction, academics bring ideas and new approaches and are put into practice much more quickly than in an academic environment. You know, oh, that's interesting, that's interesting, that's interesting. All of a sudden you knitted together something that is really, really tremendously powerful. We need their help because of the problem we're trying to solve internally. Academia can look far out into the future and can take greater risks and look for really interesting solutions that industry sometimes cannot. Grace Plains is a live action role playing game with glass that we developed in a class at UCLA in the School of Theater, Film and TV. And it involved our students in film, television, digital media and theater and computer science PhD students working with YouTube Space with some of the glass developer relations folks and the glass team to mount this live action role playing experience that used glass. This is a, sort of an ancient relationship between the tools that you have to tell stories and the the stories that you want to tell and, and how you tell them. And so I think for us, um, Glass was really a inspiration in terms of both the themes of the story. You see a little bit of that in the relationship between people and technology in the story. And then also in terms of the capabilities of how we could bring an audience into kind of intimate interaction with a story that was unusual for them. We launched the Glass Explorer program because we wanted to get this new technology in the hands of people who are going to use it to experiment with it and try new things. We knew that filmmakers were a group that we wanted to have experimenting with the technology and so we announced the Glass Creative Collective where we would invite several film schools in the U.S. to participate in the Explorer program with us where they would use Glass to help us understand how it can be used as a filmmaking tool, as an aid for storytelling, and frankly for open canvas of all the different ways that, that filmmakers and students and faculty would be able to help us understand glass in the space. We wanted to do something that was a role-playing style experience and the story then evolved out of a number of conversations that we're, we're trying to look at how could we take people through a role-playing experience that was unusual and specific to glass and um, was something original but it came from all of these initial ideas about how exciting it would be to give people the ability to uh, encounter a story as individuals and then collectively participate in seeing it through. At the space, the students ran pretty much all of the all the production. I, I mean, they did everything from the design of the spaces to the um, they shot the sort of teaser video. They ran um, all of the video. They managed the events and all that everything that was happening they were really taking the lead on. We had students from our Department of Film, Television and Digital Media and students from our Department of Theater and then we had invited some computer science PhD students to the class to help us sort of understand the really deep possibilities and, and work with some of the, the core capabilities that we thought existed in glass and so that was the team of students who developed the story and really the way that it would unfold and then we tried to bring them in contact with other faculty who were directing or new media faculty with people that could provide advice on the writing with the production teams here and through those disciplines all coming together try to make a, a really engaging experience. When the opportunity came up to try to execute this particular project here we really leapt at it because what it allowed us to do was to raise the level of uh, the, the the level not only of the execution but sort of creatively where we could go in terms of the technology and and so that was you know it was a offer that was made as a, as a research experiment to do here in the context of the space and we thought this was an opportunity that we, we couldn't pass up. The philosophy of the space is about making the production equipment that we have here and the facilities accessible to anybody uh, whether or not they have a film school background or they have any sort of formal training. Um, and you know we're all about experimentation here so uh, the chance to do a, a really cool role-playing game st style experience was something that we had never tried here at the space. 
the YouTube space building played the role of the Grace Plains Laboratory. And so soon as participants walked in the door, they were immersed in this experience, feeling as if they were um, entering you know, the actual laboratory where these experiments were taking place. This was a really um, amazing opportunity for the students to think about how could they structure an experience that had um, pre-built elements and then improvised elements and then a public that you weren't controlling, not exactly, right? And, and so I think what we learned is these things can go together, they can generate compelling experiences, and wearable computing glass in particular is a, uh, a really nice platform to experiment with because of the way that you can relate individually to every participant and yet have them do something collectively. So I thought this mixture of individual and collective um, participation through the platform was one of the things that we learned about in how to execute it, that it works, that we want to do, do more with it. I was particularly excited to have Jeff and his team involved in the collective because they have all of this development expertise as well as the filmmaking and theatrical backgrounds. And so when we started talking, I realized this is going to start going in, in a whole new direction and they're going to experiment a lot more with glass than we had originally thought about when we launched the program. So for, for us, you know, the opportunity to have glass participating in a narrative rather than just capturing it and whether that's done through automated functions or you have you know somebody actually directing the experience from behind the scenes or even actually as a participant and director I mean these are opportunities with this particular technology that you know, we hadn't really set out to explore and we learned a ton just watching Grace Plains unfold and also you know the global brain as well there's all these different ways of approaching narrative direction and storytelling that we're excited to to see like you know continue to evolve and more experiments around them having ucla come in it helped to raise the bar for our community and and get them to think a little bit more outside the box um, and also to you know uh, inspire us um, and our engineers and folks in the product team to uh, come up with new uh, features for youtube that are going to help creators to tell those stories i think what's unique about glass at least as we've encountered so far, is the relationship to the wearer. And that it, this idea of being able to address individuals within a context where they're interacting with other people is really exciting. And the, the challenge of using computing in a storytelling experience, you know, whether it's a mobile device or, or something else, is that there's a lot of mediation involved um, between you and other people when you're looking at a screen. And so the idea that you can receive story information or you can participate in a story uh, while still being able to interact with other people was really exciting. I mean, sort of the fundamental capability that ultimately was what the students decided to explore in some context for a performer so that performer could really continue to engage with the world around them while getting story information and updates and in other contexts with, um, with the public to have this overlay between the interactions they had with individuals, with each other, and the story that was coming to them through Glass. That actually, for us, was really interesting. I mean, Glass is, is designed to be close to your senses, and so, you know, you guys really took that part of Glass and that, that value of Glass and turned it into something beyond what we had imagined, which was just really cool to see that from so many different participants in the experience. I think you know, the, the notion of interacting with performers is very powerful and very interesting and it gives us a whole other palette of things to try in the context of a, a training environment of a professional school that has performers at the heart of it. And I think I, I have a lot of um, ideas creatively and personally that, re that relate to that connection between performers, content, and an audience or performers and a story and an audience that I think I'd like to, I hope that we can explore. I hope to see it start to become a, a part of that sort of, as you plan out what you're going to use, glass is one of those tools in part because of the perspective you get wearing glass, the fact that it is close to your sen senses, and the fact that you can engage a subject in a really different way. But I also hope to see glass used more in the way that, that Jeff's group did, which is really getting inputs from somebody and then reacting to them as an actor or maybe not as an actor, right? As a participant in there. So again, like I, like I had never really thought of it 
as sort of being a part of the story. I thought it was going to be a bit in the backdrop. And so we really want to see more of that as it continues to evolve. And the other piece that's been really exciting about the Creative Collective is we've gotten a lot of feedback on the product itself and how it works really well and some of the challenges that are encountered when using it for storytelling. And so that's helping us think through further iterations and improvements we can make and things that we can, can change and shift a bit. If you want to hear more about Grace Plains and the other projects that we did with Glass at UCLA, stay tuned for the Tech Talk at YouTube Space LA.